time for the Cummins Real Estate Group Show with Michelle 1L Cummins, no G, and myself, Curtis Pope. And here we are, another Saturday morning. And Michelle, you just informed me that we are doing our Wayne Gretzky episode of the show because this is number 99. Oh, yeah. And just so you know, Wayne Gretzky was a hockey player. Thanks, I got that one. <laughs> I hope so. You've been in Canada long enough. I hope you'd have that one. Not to mention, you were in uh, you know L.A. when he probably came there, so... 99 it is. That is a good number. It is. It is. Hopefully we'll make 100 episodes. We have a week to go. <laughs> Happy October, everyone. It is October, is it? Yeah, it's, it's, the weather hasn't felt that way. It's been feeling, you know, like a little last blast of, of summer here. Oh, it's been amazing. Taking like midnight to 2 a.m. strolls outside, walks, and the moon and the stars, and oh the crisp air and just it is i love october it's amazing yeah. uh, you know fall is pretty much my favorite time of year so I, I i love this because yeah it gets nice and warm during the day you know i make fun of my my co-workers and friends in ontario because you know i'm still wearing shorts to work and <laughs> they're like going but it's only 10 degrees i'm like no it's 24 degrees <laughs> richard was wearing shorts yesterday yes you guys are just alike that way <laughs> As long as you can go, you know, and if I can wear them into the middle of October just to annoy my friends in Ontario, I do it. (laughs) Any chance for me to put cuddlies on and, like, soft uh, pants and, like, I'll do it, like, even in the summer, if I can, I'll get away with it. (laughs) Yeah, that my daughter's like that, so I can understand that, too. (gasps) I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a female thing. Have you seen those giant, huge, like, they're, they're, they're a hoodie, but they're, like, you know, soft and downy, and they're way oversized, like, you can curl up in the whole thing? I've been missing out my whole life. They're, well, they're a new thing. They were on, like, Shark Tank, I think, last year, <laughs> and, they're, oh, and, and now they're in gosh. stores. My daughter wants one of these huge, oversized hoodies that she can just snuggle on the couch and watch TV in. When's her birthday? Uh, that's a good question. No, Curtis. No, Kelly. Ask Kelly. No, don't ask her. She'll... Uh, her birthday like, is in December. I know my. I, I know my daughter's birthday. Just don't ask me my son's. Oh. <laughs> No, they're both in 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 August. That's easy. Uh, no, I, I'm pretty good at birthdays. I I'll, names escape me because I'll look at the three kids and I go, "You are." Usually, when I'm mad at them, I can't remember who's who. Well, the, her birthday is perfect for one of those. Yes, uh, so uh, you know, uh, maybe maybe that's what she'll get for her birthday this year. And anything cool, like inventive, like from Shark Tank, like somebody trying and going for it and creating an invention is amazing. Like that's awesome. Let's support them. I don't know. Whenever I watch the show, I find myself at least once an episode going, "Why didn't I think of that?" Right. <laughs> okay. There's an invention that the uh, the. The, the guy who did the motors and worked on the car for the Dukes of Hazard, Rich Sefton was his, is his name, was his name. Um, unfortunately, he has passed away, but he was an amazing man, uh, and he and Richard and I became friends, uh, and he had an invention, and he's like, my daughter doesn't want to do it, but you know, Michelle, you're somebody who, you know, and he was telling me about this invention, and I want to say it on air but i may not because i actually want to actually create it but it's really cool and it has to do with mopars okay cool <laughs> mopars I, I, that was an extension of the word well, i was going to say more but i thought you know i should keep it under a bushel uh, yeah you should because you know next thing you know two weeks from now what's on shark tank and you're going exactly. come on exactly i could have done it <laughs> but i've been twiddling my thumbs selling real estate come on <laughs> twiddling your thumbs yeah Right. (laughs) (laughs) So, okay, so this show today is going to be all about the best things about living in the Fraser Valley. Okay, very, very cool. And that's something what both of us have experience with, so Mm -hmm. this should be easy. You a little longer than me. Yeah, I've been here, well, I'm on and off since I was a kid, but I mean, I, I grew up in, 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 in Richmond, but my family were all out here, my mom's side, so I've been, I've been coming out to Abbotsford and being out in this, in the valley my entire life. It's something like it's been drawing you like a magnet. It keeps pulling you. Come to, and you finally went. Well, exactly. Well, my mom grew up out here, so we have the roots, right? Yeah, and good roots there is. I mean, there's a lot of farming out here, which has a lot of good roots. Well, exactly. And, Okay, so 
Oh, I want to first start with you, Chris. What is something that about the Fraser Valley that you absolutely love? Well, that's actually a really easy one, and I know I'm not alone in this, and, and you get most of the people that live here probably would say the same thing, and that I never get tired of the view of Mount Baker. Oh, my goodness. So true. Yeah, no, I can never get tired of that. When I was a little kid, I can remember going to my aunt and uncles over on Ham Road. They had a berry farm there, and I would just find myself sometimes, you know, I'm thinking maybe six, seven. I'd just sit in the front yard and stare at Mount Baker, and just I could never get sick of that view, and I, I can find myself still doing that to this day. Oh, Mount Baker is such an so such a feature too. When a, when you're listing a property and if there's a view of Mount Baker, you are putting it in the remarks. You're putting it in there as view. Like it is a, a major view for the valley. That's I, a good one. And it's amazing too because the funny thing is, like I was talking to my boss when he came here from Ontario and he'd never seen the valley before, and he's like, "That mountain is beautiful. It's gorgeous." What is it? Go. That's Mount Baker. I go. It's a big fixture here in the valley. He's like, "Okay, yeah." And it's on the other side of the border. He's like, "What?" <laughs> 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 one of our best selling points, one of the things we all love, and it's on the other side of the border. But we sure love the view of it. See, things are, you know, what is the grass is always greener. No. That's right. <laughs> At least we get to enjoy it, right? We exactly. We don't have to keep it up. We don't have to take care of it. That's right. We can enjoy it. <laughs> uh, so what about you? What's one of the things about the valley that you absolutely love? Well, you know, talking about mountains and amazing mountains is Sasquatch Mountain. I just... <laughs> love that we have Sasquatch Mountain, which is Hemlock Mountain, really, but the resort there, and you can ski, and you can inner tube, and you can snowshoe, and you can hike, and you can ATV, and it, it is amazing, and the places up there are, like, dirt cheap compared to other, like, ski resorts and everything, and they just put in up a new um, uh, chairlift, and uh, there's just so many great things happening there, and it's so beautiful, and it's so wonderful to visit. I was just there yesterday doing an inspection for a client of mine who purchased a second property for enjoyment uh, and to rent out as a uh, rental in- income stream, which is really great on them. So great spot. They're going to love it. They're going to make money on it. And it's just going to go up in equity like crazy in the coming years. And when I was there, there was a bear. I posted it on my Facebook. But literally, I got so close to a black bear. It was I, 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 it was so friendly. I almost wanted to go out and pet it, like Yogi Bear. Yes, Mr. Ranger. <laughs> and may see a picnic basket. It's one, Luckily, of, the, one of the few impressions I do. Sorry. I like the Mickey Mouse one. <laughs> yeah, that one hurts over time, though. No, I wouldn't pet the black bear, though. That's probably a bad life choice. You know what? I think he's too used to people or something because he literally was so close to me and I did stay away. I stayed quiet. Um, I didn't want to bother him. He was just eating his grass, walking along. It's a big black bear though. Oh my gosh. But, um, that was, I love, yeah, Sasquatch Mountain is definitely a, a great, um, and what about you? What's something else you love about the valley? Well, you know, uh, again, it's, you know, part about coming out here when I was a kid, uh, was, you know, we would, you know, when you live in Vancouver or, or, you know, or in Surrey or, you know, Burnaby, it's always that big, cool thing to come out and go to Cultus Lake. And Cultus Lake is great. But when you live in the valley, you start to go, well, all the Vancouver people and Surrey people, everybody's going to Cultus Lake, filling it up. I can't get in there. I'm going to drive and go to Harrison. And that was one thing I discovered as a as living out here now in the last 13 years is what a beautiful gem Harrison is. It's just up the road. It's, uh, it's just beautiful. The backdrop of the mountains and the lake. Uh, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous spot. And what I love about it is, is it, for lack of a better word, it's not overly touristy because every little place there, every little restaurant is all mom and pop shops. There's no franchises in there. And it's just got a great vibe to it. I've always loved it. There's a restaurant on the waterfront there that has the best schnitzels. Amazing. Mm-hmm. I know the one you speak of. Yes. The uh, Black Forest Restaurant. Yes. Oh, and then the Greek restaurant with the above balcony yes. over, overlooking the, the lake. So beautiful. Yes, and that, it's just, it's, it is. It's a beautiful little spot here. And, uh, you know, when you're in the valley, you tend to go out there because you know that, you know, cultus is going to be stupid busy. <laughs> I'm going to mention one thing about Harrison Lake on top of that to add to yours is their actual water park. Oh, my gosh. They have this most amazing water park. I brought my niece and my sister there, I think it was last summer. We went out and we had an all day full of fun. Boy, were my muscles hurting afterwards. But it was so amazing. 
you should go online. Anybody listening to this, go online, Google Harrison Water Park and watch the video of it. It is funner than you think, and there's so much to do on it. Like, it's, it's so fun. So that's Yeah, we got to go on that a couple of years ago. We actually, there's, if you go on our Facebook page and you really dig back, there's a video there of me and my kids. We went out there a couple of years oh. ago and checked it out. It was a lot of fun. Cool. You brought the video camera? We uh, They let us use the GoPro uh, that they had oh. on site because we were doing a little something for the radio station. And, uh, yeah, it was a blast, although that water, it is cold water. You definitely want to wear the uh, wear the uh, dry suit there or the wetsuit when you're there. Yeah, water skiing, too, early in the morning, and definitely use the water of uh, the wetsuit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, looking at the time here, we're just about done our first segment, so... Uh, People may have questions about the valley and moving out here and things like that. And if that's the case, what's the best place to uh, get information about Michelle Cummins? MichelleCummins.ca is easy as that. Perfect. We're back with more right after this. Segment number two of the Cummins Real Estate Group show, episode number 99, and we are talking about some of our favorite things in the Valley and the reasons that people want to live out here. And, well, I answered the first question last time. Which one of your favorites again out here in the Valley, Michelle? I would have to say the beauty of nature in the area. I mean, when do you get, like, all four seasons and when you get mountains and valleys and rivers and lakes and ocean like, you get everything out here. It's amazing. Like, all sorts of outdoor activities. Anything you want to do, really, because we have everything you can almost imagine. Uh, you can canoe, kayak, fish, bike, hike, ski. I mean, there's just so much to do out here. I love it. That That's huge, because I love outdoors. Yeah, I would have to agree with that. That's one of the great things, especially when my kids were younger. Now they're getting older and they don't want to hang out with dad as much. But um, I, I love the fact that I can be on a lake fishing in no time at all. I mean, fact is I can be on Mill Lake fishing, but you're not going to eat anything you catch in Mill Lake. <laughs> <laughs> but you can catch fish there. Um, but, you know, you can be on a lake fishing. You can be going, you can go to a Golden Ears Park and go for an amazing hike and, and feel like you're nowhere near a major metropolis area like Vancouver. Because when you get down Golden Ears Park and you get down to the end of that road, you, you're, I, you would kill you because you have to have your cell phone, but you get to the end of that road and your cell phone doesn't have service. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's crazy that we're so close to metropolitan, but we're yet so far away. Exactly. And that's the other thing, too, right? Because you can go into Vancouver and be part of the big city. You can go to Stanley Park. You can, you know... Go to all the concerts and the games. What concerts? What are these concerts you speak of? Well, not lately, but... <laughs> you hit a sore topic with me, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to bring that one up. <laughs> They'll be back one day. And imagine those first couple of concerts we go to. The crowd's going to be like being at a Beatles show. They're going to scream the whole time. Oh, my gosh. You're so right. Do we want to go to the first concerts that cut, yes. cut the town? Or yes. <laughs> come to see? Oh, my goodness. Okay. What about, this, what about the dinosaur of the river? Sturgeon. Oh, like, yes. The fish, sturgeon fishing here in the mighty Fraser River. Like, that is amazing. Have you ever been sturgeon fishing? No, I like watching other people do it. <laughs> okay. I actually went sturgeon fishing um, um, last year with uh, with Fred from Fred's Custom Tackle. And, oh, cool. uh He knows his stuff about that river. And we went sturgeon fishing. And I didn't catch a big sturgeon, not one of those monsters. But I caught about a, I don't know, maybe it was... Maybe it was 15 pounds. It was still a baby. It was like six, seven years old, I think he said. Did you get a photo of it? We did, yeah, and a video because we were doing something for the radio station. And uh, it was um, even the fight in that little fish, like that, you know, maybe maybe it was 15 pounds. The fight that thing gave me to pull into the boat was like something I've never felt before. They are so strong. And so if I go back in the Facebook, I uh, can see that too? Yeah, if you go back on the on the Facebook, uh, yeah, you'll find uh, that it's back uh, about a year or so, yeah. 
Okay, I'll look for it. You're going to have to go dig deep a little bit, but you can find some interesting stuff on there. It's amazing what's online <laughs> forever, especially if it's Facebook. <laughs> exactly. Oh, so what are some of the other things you love? Okay, well, you know, one of the things I, I, I love about Abbotsford is is that, uh, again, you're you're out away from the big city of Vancouver, but let's say you want to go to the ocean. Well, you're 45 minutes away from White Rock and uh, smelling that salt air. Oh, well, maybe I want to get out in the wilderness. Well, you can drive for 45 minutes. You're outside of Hope and you're in the wilderness. You can go to Manning Park, things like that. I love the fact that you can you can really get whatever you want. We're really central here. Uh, you, you know, <clears throat> when the border's open, you want to go to the States. The border's right here. I mean, we're really centralized. Even if it doesn't feel like that, we're really central here in the Valley. Yeah, and Abbotsford specifically seems almost like the heart. Abbotsford and Mich- uh, Langley, sorry, uh, uh, seem like the heart of the Valley. And with the International Airport, uh, with the amazing cancer research hospital that we have, with being so close to the border, with being so close to the ocean, like you said. And what I love about Abbotsford, and I have not done it yet, and I have to, I need to be bold and dangerous. I need to live life on the edge. And that skydiving. <laughs> yeah, you see, I'm not jumping out of a perfectly good airplane. If a wing falls off, I'm in. But if it can still fly, I'm waiting till that thing lands. Oh, it's all safe. Oh, it's all good. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't see the plummeting towards the earth at terminal velocity does not sound like fun to me. Okay, well, will you try paragliding off Mount Woodside here in the valley? I'd probably be more inclined to dry something where the parachute is already open, yeah. There you go. Then maybe that is what we have to do. I know a couple instructors that instruct, and you can jump off with them. You can videotape it on your GoPro. Hey, it could be a great Country 107.1 FM event. You know what? I think that would be great for the morning team. Okay. (laughs) We'll keep it for the morning team. (laughs) Well, how about panning for gold? Oh, there we go. Now, that's something I've never done in the Valley. I've done it in Barkerville, but never in the Valley. Oh, we've got so much gold here that's still hidden. Hey, have you ever read the book Schlumax Gold? No, but I know the guy who wrote it. Oh, my goodness. So does Richard. Mr. Brian Attenson. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) I've read the book myself, and I've never met him. Uh, Um, He was my first instructor at the British Columbia Institute of Technology with the broadcast program. Oh, crazy. Crazy. Is, is No, was he in that, uh, there was a TV series, like a reality series about it. Was he yeah, in it? I don't know if he was part of the reality series or not. You know, Brian's a great guy, and he's still very active. He's retired from teaching now, but he's very um, involved around the community and mission. And, uh, I, you know, he, he, he's just, he, he, he's just I, him writing that book was not a surprise. He's always on the go. Okay, now, you brought Mission up, so I have to say, you know, Mission has one of the top parks in all of the country. Hmm. Heritage Park. Right. It's actually been uh, voted as the third best park in all of all of Canada. It's just amazing. The trails, and uh, <laughs> I don't know if I suggest this, but I did it <laughs> one year, um, is, uh, you know, those round little silver thingies, and you uh, it's snow, and you... And it, what do, you, what do you do? That you sled? Like yes. Sled on a round. <laughs> Anyways, oh, I hurt my tailbone. Um, but I went down that that hill during that. But there's all these different events all year long, and Father's Day in the park, and of course July 1st for Canada Day, and it's just a great, great park. It's gorgeous. Yeah, and speaking of parks, uh, you know, having a little gem like Mill Lake Park in the middle of, of an urban area like that we do in Abbotsford is is such a great thing, too. And that's the thing. People in Abbotsford, we, they love Mill Lake Park. That's the thing. That is a heartthrob of Abbotsford. It is an amazing lake, and it's hidden. It's like people don't know about it unless you they hear about it because it, there's the walking trails around it, and there's some really great properties around it. There's a couple brand-new townhouses that are available right, like you can see the lake from it, and actually they're quite beautiful. So, yeah, there's some, there's a great area. Mahogany, you know, the big high rise mm-hmm. is near there, and 
that whole area, just central Abbotsford and with the 200K plan that they're doing um, with the malls and all that area, it's, gonna, it's just a great area. Fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. So what's, what's another one of your uh, favorite parts of the valley here, especially as a realtor who gets to see so much of the valley? Okay, one really unique, cool area is, did you know we have houseboats in the valley? I did not know that. There is a community called Grant's Landing, and it's in Langley. It's in between Fort Langley, pretty much Walnut Grove, so right on the uh, Fraser River, of course. It's called Grant's Landing, and it's such a cute community. And, yeah, there's houseboats. You can buy and live in it. If I was single or whatever, and uh, I might just have bought one and lived in one. <laughs> yeah, they are pretty cool. And, uh, you know, living right in the water like that, it must get a little cold in the winter, but I guess they must be really well insulated. Yes, they are. And you can actually fish right off your own porch. I mean, how cool is that? That would be pretty cool. But, you know, providing you don't catch one of those, you know, like, you know, 100-year-old sturgeon that are, you know, like 500 pounds. You definitely got to have the right uh, line for that one. That is true. (laughs) What else I love is that uh, Langley is the horse capital of B.C. And a lot of people don't know that when I tell them, but it truly is. Just go to it. Uh, no, it is Campbell Valley Park and Thunderbird Show Park and really a high point estate, like the whole high point area is gorgeous and beautiful, but Langley is the horse capital of BC, so that is amazing. Yeah, and it is another beautiful spot, and it's amazing. I mean, you didn't grow up here, obviously, uh, as you can tell from your accent, but uh, <laughs> I, you know, grew up on and off, you know, through the valley because, uh, you know, all my family was at your night. My aunt and uncle had a place in Langley. My other aunts and uncles all had places in Abbotsford. So, you know, I spent a lot of time out here and watching the valley grow from what it was, you know, 30, 35 years ago to, to what it is today. It's uh, it's been an amazing thing to watch how this this area has expanded and grown. Well, you know, I've been here since 1998. It's, it sounds old and so long ago now, but it feels like yesterday to me. But 1998, and I just fell in love from the first day I crossed the border to come up here. I just instantly, as soon as I crossed the border, I felt uh, relaxed. I felt comfort. I felt something almost like it's hard to explain but that feeling has never left me and and i just absolutely love the valley i i got really blessed to be here yeah you see well you've been here you know a a good chunk of time now too and the fact is i mean you moved here not too long after they amalgamated uh you know because this used to be three different communities here in the abbotsford area oh was that before I came? Yeah, it was a few, just a few years before you uh, moved here that would have been uh, the Clearbrook area is where the radio station is. This was called Clearbrook, hence the name Clearbrook Road. And then you had Abbotsford, and then you also had Matsqui, and it was three different, uh, you know, kind of uh, jurisdictions here. And then they had a vote for, uh, um, uh, like a, uh, you know, a referendum as part of an election, and they voted on which name to kind of, you know, amalgamate and- everything under. It's like the district of Mission becoming the city of Mission now because they want to be known as a city and the population growth and everything rather than, yeah, I mean, things progress. That's mm-hmm. exactly it. They don't remain the same, and that's what's happened is just, yeah, uh, Matsqui, I can, I can see that, um, the different areas, but I could see it becoming one. Um, I know there's, I mean, Surrey is huge in different sub-areas and areas, Langley, mm-hmm. uh, you know, yeah. Um Okay, so we talked a little bit about White Rock in Surrey and the mountain and the beaches and how we're, um, you know, the the country, uh, yet we're kind of the city too, everything. Um, But the other thing that Langley, because I didn't mention the other thing besides horse capital, is that Fort Langley is the birthplace of BC. So it's got all this history and it's got the fort, it's still there and it's right on the Fraser River. And it is actually the birthplace of BC where they signed off to become its own province. Mm-hmm. And, and when you and when you grow up here and you go to school anywhere in the Lower Mainland, you make a field trip out there at least once a year in elementary school. That oh, it's such a cute area. I love it. Yeah, okay, no, it, definitely a cool spot. You and I are fans of this, and I brought the Craig, which is come real estate group, uh, beer crew out this year, our annual event, and we swap it from wineries to uh, breweries. This year we did breweries. Now, because our area, it is 
so ripe with amazing uh, breweries and wineries. That's something that else amazing about the valley. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, funny enough, again, a little bit of the history here. Back uh, pre-flood, uh, which was in, what, 1948, uh, the valley was where they used to grow a lot of hops. And now they've started doing that again in the last few years. But there are some uh, pretty big roots uh, sitting yes. here uh, in, in, in beer, actually. Yes. You know, what's behind where I live I'm looking at it right now out my window is Hop Yard Hill. Mm-hmm. It's where it got its name. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And we can't forget about Cascade Falls in Mission. It's uh, one of the cool highlights. And I've got a friend that comes all the way from the East Coast in the States, and he says it's the best falls he's ever seen. He loves it. Uh, Cascade Falls in Mission. Yeah, no, that is a beautiful spot, too. Well, we're uh, we're getting close to the end of our time. Have you got any new listings or open houses we need to talk about that are maybe here in the Valley? Well, I guess wrapping up the best things about living in the Fraser Valley brings us right into this because I was going to say, what about all the amazing, the the amazing economy that we have that supports small business and that's easy to support and shop local as well in this area. We are huge in this area for for entrepreneurs um, and for uh, inventors. A lot of inventions actually have been. created in our valley so amazing so going on with uh today i have an open house so if you're looking for a home or you know somebody who is or you just want to come and say hello i've got an open house in mission brand new amazing gorgeous property from two to four it's at 8462 fairbanks street and it's on for 960 it's a fantastic 4400 square foot and it's quality home and it's two-story well actually i would call it a one one and a half story with basement because the master bedroom, which is ex- just exquisite, is, is meant for a princess. It's beautiful. The ensuite is amazing. The kitchen is amazing in this home. You can walk right out to your backyard for barbecues. Uh, it is a great family home. It's a great entertainer's home, and it really makes you feel special. It's, it's really that special home. It's vacant. It's, it's ready for possession. I have that open house. Come on out today and see me see the property more importantly <laughs> and uh and it's got the basement is actually uh roughed in for a possible in-law suite or you know a wet bar it's got uh outlets for the washer and dryer in, in there and everything so it is really gorgeous um and it's only a few years old and then this week's new listing coming up very soon on tuesday it should hit the mls system it's a great two-bedroom top floor penthouse condo in Abbotsford, right in the Temple Building. It's only a couple blocks from Starbucks, shopping, and Cabela's, which I love. Uh, So keep an eye out for it, and rentals are allowed in this building, so it's great investment. Uh, Whether you're a first-time homebuyer, you want to move in yourself, you're an investor, or you're downsizing, or you just want to maybe keep some equity and a property solid in Canada, this is a great location, amazing, right close to the highway. Uh, it's, it, it's really, really nice. And so, yeah, there we go. And I'll, the quote of the week this week is by Beverly Sills. There are no shortcuts to anywhere worth going. No, that's a good quote. I like that one. I'm glad you like all my quotes. (laughs) Very cool. All right. Well, if people want more information about the services you provide as a top-notch realtor, what can they do? CumminsRealEstateGroup.com or MichelleCummins.ca. And make sure you join us again next weekend. But once again, we will talk real estate in order to unlock your real estate potential on a show where real estate is maximized. Thanks for listening.